All right, apparently we're back to winter here in New York City. It's currently 8.06 a.m. in the morning and I'm going for a coffee run because I feel like I'm sleepwalking. And then yesterday was like 60 degrees. This is out of control and so is my hair. But that's nothing new. So we're gonna go for a Starbucks run and I sound so happy. But that's because this is my favorite time of the day when I get to have my coffee. So don't interrupt, okay? Let's go to Starbucks. I'm like one of those people that I really try not to complain about the weather, but I feel like it's becoming a little bit too much. It's like winter doesn't want to leave. It has a hole on us and it's here to stay and it's not paying rent. It's expensive. I went too far and that's without coffee. Okay, my hair, it looks like I'm literally sprouting. <laughs> Look what I have. Look how I'm glowing. Even my cheeks are rosy. I'll tell you one thing, Starbucks is always freaking packed and I don't really like going to Starbucks to be honest with you, I'm one of like those people, but it's the only one around my job so it became a best friend. <laughs> and to be honest with you, it's actually not bad, which is good, <sighs> but it's freezing and now I'm back to work and it's so pretty around here. I'll catch you guys later. by wind from all kinds of angles in the spring. I feel like I'm in Alaska. Okay, I came out of work. Yeah, my hair looks crazy again as usual. It's so windy. So you might hear the wind more than my big mouth. But um, even though it's chilly, it's so beautiful because the sun is full blown out and you know me, flowers love the sun. Full blown blue skies. Mm. I love it, I love it. By the way, look at the flowers, how gorgy porgy. What are these, magnolias? So pretty. They're so beautiful. Like, I will get this get inspired one. I love this one. Look at the jacket. Oh my god, this is like Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella. I don't know, I love looking at the crystals. so fun to look at let's see if my baby got good taste oh my god that's Montclair I don't like it it's the cheesy sandwich yeah they're underwhelming oh my god I don't need to lift weights with these things look at these I would wear these isn't this fun daddy wow these are nice too I wanted these sandals, but they're so expensive. They are $1,900, they're beautiful. Look, Daddy. The little chain. Look at these, though. Aren't these pretty? Wow, look at these. 
they look so gorgeous i need places to go to i saw these on the runway you need to see the runway for dolce gambana and you see them in action they look so interesting not for me but sure could admire Look at this bag right here. My arm these fell off. Oh my god. That shit looks so good. Alright, we got quite a few pieces to go through here. There's sets and dresses. Let's see what they look like. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Balman fashion show. Oh my god, you gotta see this shit. Oh my god. Look at this cutie. Don't look at my legs because they have like dent of my shoes, but look how gorgeous. <sighs> I mean, who the fuck am I? This is so cute, but I don't know. The material is like so heavy that's actually pulling down. It doesn't have structure. The skirt costs $1,695. The top is $1,095. But I mean, other than that, it looks luxe. But to be honest with you, it is not special. Why would I spend Balmain type of money? But damn, bitch, I look like a Russian stewardess. I feel like I should be in one of those movies where I play the red vixen. Red, I don't know why, but vixens are usually in red. Next. I feel like a stuffed pork in this. I, clearly, I think I need a bigger size because this doesn't look like there's any material here. The dress feels substantial and like structure. And if you're worried about being too loose somewhere, it gives you like that second skin type of outfit. I don't find it special enough to be honest with you, but it is gorgeous. I think for me, I need a bigger size because if I sit down, yeah, that's what I figured. It's going to ride up and that's not a good look for anybody, especially if you're not getting paid. <laughs> you know she's cute but it's not giving me like <gasps> wow this is Balmain this has got to be the thing you know like how I got so excited when I did the Chanel try on which was a Chanel Dior link it up above or down below so you can see it I was so excited but you know she's cute she's cute but it's just giving me expensive hooker vibes at this point and that's not something I'm looking for but Damn, dog, I got some baby cuts. <laughs> I'm thinking if we go to a club and it's really dark, good, because nobody will see that the skirt is riding up, you see? This cost $2,550. This shit better not ride up anywhere for that price. This is the first time I cram my tushy into a bomb mode. I mean, who the fuck am I? Next. Damn. <laughs> who the hell am I? I mean, I feel like somebody different. Oh my God, I feel like Sophia Loren. This shit even gives you more shape and body. Oh my God. I feel like Daisy Loren, mommy. I love this one. This one makes me feel some type of way. It cinches you in everywhere. So if you're worried about this area or something like that, it literally pulls you in. Like I could barely breathe. And then look at this, it gives me mini baby boobs. It cinches you in from the sides too. I mean, obviously I wouldn't wear it with this bra, but I gotta be honest, this is my favorite. She's a stunner. I just won't be able to eat with this fucker. I just need like one of those long cigarettes, like those classic cigarettes from back in the days, and a martini, and then turn on Sophia Loren for one day. I can't breathe in this shit, but who cares when you look cute? Go Daisy, go Daisy, go Daisy. Where the fuck you going, Daisy? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, I love this one too. <laughs> okay, now I feel like I am, I don't know, the mistress of some rich king somewhere. It's stunning and sexy, and I love the white, and it's so bougie. 
and it's like that knit material but like a light knit material i love it and it doesn't feel like i pretty much have anything on i think the fact that the material is very clingy to your body is so stunning it feels like second skin and then with the little skirt so comfortable and then it has like these beautiful gold embellishments and i feel like a an expensive call girl <laughs> and think about this i think it's the combination of colors and how it feels on the skin this is like the quintessential balmain type of look just like the dress is big on these broad shoulders and i just love it i love it I just feel like so sophisticated and so like like money you know what i mean i find balmain to be very edgy but for some reason i feel sophisticated in these which one is your favorite i think my favorite is um the white one i think that's actually my favorite the white one time to take the train and head home bitches <laughs>